I went camping recently for this next joke. And <laughs> I married a woman who loves to camp, and I am what you would call indoorsy. I'm surprised we can still get people to camp. Hey, want to burn a couple of vacation days sleeping on the ground outside? Uh, no. What if I told you to get the crap standing up in the woods? I still wouldn't want to go. You'll wake up freezing covered in a rash. All right, I'll go. My wife always brings up, camping's a tradition in my family. Hey, it was a tradition in everyone's family till we came up with a house. My parents never took me camping. You know why? Because they loved me. <laughs> It'll get you closer to nature. I want to keep the relationship professional. <laughs> if it's so great outside, why are all the bugs trying to get in my house? <laughs> Some places you have to pay to camp. You have to pay to sleep outside. That's got to be insulting to the homeless people. <laughs> How much does this cost you? I live out here! <laughs> that must be really expensive. Occasionally at the campsite, you'll see the Winnebago. That's kind of cheating, isn't it? Oh, that's what I forgot, my house. <laughs> but there's always that one couple at every campsite that's been camping for way too long. They have the folding chairs, the Christmas lights in July. We'd love to have you for dinner. I'm sure you would. <laughs> now, how do I get a padlock on my tent so we're not eaten by Ma and Pa Dahmer? <laughs> Happy camper! Has anyone ever really been a happy camper? Because whenever we use that term, we're being sarcastic. He is not a happy camper. <laughs> Why don't we just call him a camper? <laughs> He's miserable. You know who's a happy camper? The guy leaving the campsite. <laughs> He's the happiest camper. He gets to take a shower. <laughs> he ruined camping for me. <laughs> to be fair, it is beautiful during the day. You know, but at night, you're always like, we're all going to die! <laughs> There's monsters out there! I see their eyes! I probably wouldn't be so scared if I wasn't sleeping in a bag. <laughs> hey, let's prepackage ourselves for the serial killer, huh? <laughs> I can't get away, can you? I could hop for a little, but I'm dead meat. <laughs> you ever have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? You always look at your friends, nice knowing you. Anyone want to come and get killed with me or you want to get killed looking for me? <laughs> We're all dead. It's not just serial killers. There's bears out there. Last time I went, I got this pamphlet that said if a bear approaches, you're supposed to play dead. Really? We're going to rely on my acting skills? <laughs> play dead? Who came up with that? Maybe the bears? <laughs> play dead, cover yourself in honey, climb on a large white plate. Don't try to run away from us. I mean the bears. <laughs> How does that even work? There's a bear. Uh, 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 uh. Hope the bear thinks we die standing up. As if bears have some ethical code. I don't mess with dead bodies. I'm a bear, not an animal. <laughs> that was the worst impression of a bear ever. <laughs> Play dead. I'm not saying that strategy didn't work once, but when they find a body that's been mauled by a bear, how do they know that guy wasn't playing dead? <laughs> Maybe he was the best at it. And the bear was like, great performance, but I'm starving. And he looks like a burrito. <laughs> Why are we even camping where there's wild animals? That wouldn't be a selling point for anything else. Oh, it's a beautiful golf course. Plus around the ninth hole, there's a pack of wolves. <laughs> they start running at you, just play through. 